Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have some special guests in the building. I'll let you guys introduce yourself. Of course, uh, Dr. Sabi. Am I saying Sabi right? Is that the way you say Sabi? Because people say Sabi, Sabi. Dr. Yeah. Sabi's family. So please introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Kelly. I'm mm-hmm. Kelly Bowman. Dr. Sabi's daughter. I am his daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My name is Isaiah Bowman. I'm Dr. Sabi's grandson. Mm-hmm. My name is Alfredo Dorrington Bowman Jr., a.k.a. Asami. Mm-hmm. I'm Jr. Dr. Sabi's daughter. Now, I'm, I, I I think I'm the only one in the room that I actually got a chance to meet Dr. Sabi a couple of times. I don't, uh, Charlamagne, did you? I don't believe I did. Yeah, did you? No, I haven't. And, and I would always tell the story of 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 uh, how he's healed so many people when he used to come, used to uh, open up the phone lines and allow people to actually call and speak to him. And, and so many people called and said that he's helped with pains and illnesses that they have, everything from, you know, herpes to HIV to uh, ED. And I tell the story, I, I seen him stand on the table jump off the table, land on his knees. I can't do it now at this age, and I've seen him do it and jump on his knees. And people talk about his program and and how he's healed so many people. But now there's so many different people selling his products. So we're trying to figure out what's authentic. Yeah, which is is authentic, which is not authentic. Is it coming from his ex-wife or his kids? Or Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, as far as the legacy, you're seeing it right in front of you. We are the original family with the original products. We're the ones continuing the legacy of my grandfather, the ones that been helping heal and save lives and help our people. And like you just said, you saw my grandfather, you know, jump on the table and get right back off that table is because of minerals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And one of the main components that we always talk about is sea moss. Sea mm-hmm. moss mm-hmm. provides you with 92 of 102 minerals what the body is composed of. So it's high in zinc, high in calcium, it enriches the blood, tone the body naturally, lower blood pressure, get rid of asthma, and bring the body back to its natural essence. So when we talk about my grandfather, Dr. Sabian, original products, this is his firstborn son right here. Wow. You see, Moss, that's the pills? Yeah, that's yeah. the pills. How many do you take? You taking one a day. Can I take one now? Uh, sure. And you can also make your own sea moss, right? Yes, at you home. can. Fresh. Because mm-hmm. yeah. we had that at the juice bar. Yeah. Yeah, well, what's interesting you said that sure. is that, you know, you can make it yourself. And that's what we're all about. When he talks about there's so many selling the original, this is about education. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. My father was a sick man, and the first person who had to be educated was him. So when you look at it like that, we are not the ones who are producing just what he had. This is for the world's benefit. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when you talk about CMOS, young lady, I love you for that. I love what you're doing because that means you're educated. Mm-hmm. And that means that we as a people can sit together and say, hey, we're gonna be educated and we're gonna educate others. So that's what's beautiful about the original. The original came from the creator. Mm-hmm. It didn't come from you, it didn't come from me. Mm-hmm. It came from God. Mm-hmm. So when you look at it like that, it's beneficial for all of us. That's why I love going to the islands and stuff, cause like they'll show, like they'll take you on tours, and they'll be yeah. like, "This heals this, and this is for this, and this is for that." And it's like the earth gives us everything that we need. That's there right. That's why I like what my sister said. You know, you said there's a lot of people out here selling different products. The thing about that is this: is that whatever product they sell, it has to be herbal. Mm-hmm. So it's plant based. We have doctors almost on every corner. Why shouldn't there be natural healers wanting to pop up and do the same thing and help right. people in the same? And the only difference is that it's really helping people. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's not to say, oh, they, they stuff is no good or they stuff is just no. When you put in something that's viable in the body, the body is electric. Mm-hmm. When we put food that's electric. It electrifies the body. Mm. Now, can we go back to you saying that Dr. Sabi was a sick man because he did have some ailments at first, and that's what led him to find out what people do really need in their body, the natural things that we do need in order to get better. So talk about the struggles that he had and how he came across uh, Dr. Sabi. I can tell you about that Mm because I watched him. I'm Mm -hmm. junior. He had asthma really bad. To the mic, brother. He had the first stages of diabetes really bad. He would come in the house and be wheezing. And he didn't like it. Nobody likes it. He became impotent behind diabetes. And it just got to a point in his life where he had to say, enough is enough. And I was like 18. He said, man, we need to quit eating meat. He said, we need to just go and be vegetarians. And I remember we started out using cell sauce because back in 77, that was the thing. Had all these cell sauce. We'd taken them. we 
built the herb, a herb garden in his backyard. At that time, I was living in L.A. I was a crip. I would bring my homeboys over there because he liked to smoke. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. we can go over there and smoke and help him. Mm -hmm. And they didn't mind going and putting these herbs in his backyard because they was learning something, too. And that was way back in 77 when health food started. They, have, they didn't have no whole foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had none of that. You had to really have that desire to find out what was going on. So where did but, he get that information from? Where did he d get yeah, it from? Where to know I should it? stop eating meat and stuff like that. Well, it was a, it's a gentleman. I don't know if he's still alive. His name was George Cervillo. And he was a Mexican healer. And when he talked to Sabi, Sabi loved speaking Spanish because he was from Honduras. Mm -hmm. So he's speaking Spanish. Man, I'm going to help you. And the guy had a book. It was called Herbology for Home Study. And me and him both got the book. And that book tells you everything. It breaks down. I'm a chemist by trade. Mm -hmm. It breaks down everything in formulas. Shows you how it affects the body. It lets you know there's no such thing as protein. There's no such thing as that. Mm -hmm. What is the such thing as is life that is generated from the earth, and when we intake that life, we enhance our life. I heard, I heard Dr. Sebi say that one time. He was like, what is protein powder? It's non-existent. That's just a name. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that lives that's in our body. Think about the gorilla. What protein is he getting? So it don't even come from plants? Like, Not at no, all. He, he don't need protein, and he bigger than all of us. He eating green leaves. Yeah. Whatever protein they say exists got to exist in that. Yeah. That is a westernized formula that's man-made in a laboratory. How can a white substance help me with my proper nutritional value? Mm. You want minerals such as that sea moss you just took. That's going to pr provide you with more minerals than that white substance than anything in GMC. Mm -hmm. You could go get the biggest protein bag. It's not going to provide you with 90, 12, 102 minerals, period. So what about like vitamins and fish oil? And is that is that any good? Fish oils have they, you know, they have their job that they do. But when you have black seed oil, why use fish oil? Mm -hmm. You know, there's always great alternatives. And the great alternative is always what? That plant goes into the ground and it extracts all the minerals from the ground, digests them, and then we take that and digest it and get all the minerals that it got. What do you, what do you guys think about, you know, some of the doctors that say study under SABI and they do the same thing? You know, it's a lot of people that, you know, say they was associated with Dr. SABI. My grandfather only taught us. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no other entities that he taught. And, you know, a lot of people say that they met Dr. Sebi. My grandfather wasn't just a person that you could just walk up and meet. If he didn't want to spend time with you, you wasn't going to see him at all. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you know, about anything else but my family. So what, do you, what do you think about people that study Dr. Sebi and his teachings and then try to spread the word of that? I mean, and that's beautiful. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. And that's what we're supposed to do. And yeah. shout out to all my brothers and sisters. It's yeah. a lot of us out there. It's a movement. And, and you know what? We love each and every one of us. Because let me tell you something. This here thing right here is so important to all of us. We are all in the fight together. So don't let nobody tell you we're pulled apart. Mm -hmm. We just was together. Right. And we will continue this together. So whereas you see us maybe individually go through this movement, we are all together because the goal is for all of us to be taught. Mm -hmm. So shout out to all my brothers and sisters because they're listening. And we love you and we know it's hard because you know what? We are celebrating right now the passing of Dr. Sebi. And that's a hard situation all in itself. Now think about this. We were all here in America and they had already buried our father. So when we have to tell our truth, you are talking to children who are still going through that stage of mourning together. Do you think the government killed Dr. Sebi? No, it wasn't anything government. It wasn't no government foul play. If your dad or grandfather go to a prison in a third world country, where there's not hot showers and hot meals and a television, then it's a possibility that he can die as well. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't no government foul play. My uncle was in that same prison, and he almost died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what was he arrested for? I know he was arrested several times for, they believed he was trying to get over on the people, and he beat all those cases. What was he arrested for this time, the last time? Um, he was arrested for, they claimed that he was trying to embezzle money, which is false information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, another time I remember that uh, 
He took out ads in the newspaper saying that he can help heal people, and he was arrested for that, and he actually beat that case. Can you explain to, to people if you, what happened during that time? Yeah, it was the Village Voice in the, in the big red, red newspaper. And what happened was, you know, the Attorney General at the time was Attorney General Abrams here in New York. Mm -hmm. And he called Sabe. He said, look, man, you can't have that ad in the paper. He said, that's, that's not true. Sabe said, what do you mean? He said, why I have to take it out of the paper? He said, because it's not true. He said, well, tell me why it's not true. He said, because you, you can't do that. He said, that's not good enough. Hung the phone up on it. Mm -hmm. So I must have been three, four and months. And that ad was claiming that he can cure, cure HIV, AIDS. HIV, AIDS. And that, it was big then. Big back mm -hmm. then, I remember, yeah. Herpes, mm -hmm. cancer, diabetes, sickle cell. Mm -hmm. Basically, he was saying, we can reverse any disease, and that still remains today. Hmm. Because there's no disease that's irreversible. When you give the body the environment that it needs to nourish itself, our bodies want to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to decide, hey, we got to change our toolbox. What is, what is our toolbox? The food that we put in our mouth. Now, that's the conspiracy, mm -hmm. is that our food sources it's killing us feeding us as it a nation. And not only that, the cold pharmaceuticals. Blooded. Yeah, the pharmaceuticals. So when we look at this and we think about the food that we're eating, that's a conspiracy all in itself because we've been fooled to think that processed food is our food. It is the silent killer. Mm -hmm. And we have all been sitting here saying, oh, this is what's good for us. This is what's good. How can you have a righteous thought when your food is unholy? Mm. How, how, let's, no, 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 let's, let's go back. I want to go yeah, back. Yeah, I want to talk thing. about the court case so some that, more. So that, now, the government brought charges on him. Brought charges on him mm -hmm. for what they said, selling medicine without a license, uh, practicing medicine without a license. Mm -hmm. So in that courtroom was the AMA. He's the first naturopath. The go up against the AMA which went all to the, all the way to the Supreme Court, and he beat the case. Mm -hmm. Try to get a copy of the case. Now nah, they have it sealed. Mm -hmm. I, re I read some of it. They said that they they told him to bring in people, bring yeah, in people that went, he healed. The, and he brought it. They said the courtroom was too full. Fifteen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They asked yes. him to bring fifteen. He filled the court up. Yeah. And that's not pharmaceuticals. If you're telling people to eat natural fruits and vegetables, it's and, food. Yeah, it's food. It's yeah. not even like you're trying to get people to buy drugs. No. Life is food, you know. And that's the thing that I really have. I, I've been listening to a lot of music because there's a lot of youngsters be around me. So I listen to the rap, and we I be listening to it, and they just jamming to it. And then I hear him say, "Yeah, I got to get my Hennessy and Coke, my Percocets." I'm saying, "Wait, wait." See, these are the things that keep us trapped in that toolbox where we keep eating the same thing and thinking the same thought. Mm. The, the, the court case is what Nipsey wanted to focus on in his documentary, right? Yeah, like just exactly. that specific time. Yeah, you... so with the, you know, Nipsey passing and, you know, Nipsey wanted to do the documentary, he wanted to just strictly focus on the court case because our generation need to know the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many conspiracies on Dr. Sebi. He wasn't a healer. He was a quack. He didn't cure these people. The fact of the matter is this. He won in a Supreme Court. He beat his case. Not only the Supreme Court justice, he also went the very next day and beat a federal case. So we have to give this man his credit. Mm -hmm. He's doing something that no one in this world has ever done. Period. Mm -hmm. And it's still being done right now. And nothing changed because when you understand what the body needs and what the body is getting, then you eliminate the poison that you intake it and put in all nourishment. It changes the body's environment. How did That's simple as that. How did y'all feel when y'all saw everybody saying Nipsey was killed, which is ridiculous, killed because he was making a documentary on Dr. Sebi? It was, it was very, very heartbreaking. And, you know, it was... I was very disgusted behind it because our society always come with an opinion. Mm -hmm. We always quick to speculate and think the worst instead of knowing the facts. So once, you know, Nipsey died, it was very tragic. And then, you know, all the speculations came out. My phone was ringing, DMs going crazy. And it's like, once they found the shooter, all the speculations went out the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I want to ask, you know, Dr. Sabi, his last name wasn't Sabi. So how did how did the name Sabi come about? Because your last names aren't Sabi either. No, no it's Bowman. Bowman. Mm -hmm. You know, his name, I'm Junior. His name was Alfredo Darrington Bowman. Mm -hmm. And he came by with that name because he at that time he was dealing with a bunch of women around him because his whole thing was that women are healers. 
the natural healers of the earth is women, and it's true to right now. He ain't lying. I mean, it's true to right yeah. now. So, you know, they decided to give him that name, Sabi, and later on the doctor got added to it, and what Sabi really mean is traveler. He was traveling everywhere, and he was traveling healing people, mm-hmm. finding out about new herbs, finding, you know, just learning what life is all about and how to sustain our life. Mm-hmm. And he brought that to the community, and that's what we still bring to the community because we represent that. For all of you growing up, did you grow up vegan, everybody? I, 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 um, that didn't happen for me until I was 18. Until you were, okay. I was about seven when I gave up a cheeseburger. I got real sick, and my grandfather had to fly from Honduras to give me sea moss, and that's when I fell in love with sea moss. And I, I was in the hospital for a week. I thought I was going to die behind a Big Mac. Really? Really. Mm. What was it? Like, what was Food poisoning. Wow. Yeah, you know, when the Big Macs was $2, and, <laughs> you know, I grew up in an era where we had the moon, you know, as the McDonald's uh, and yeah. all this new stuff. That's when that Big Mac was $3.14. <laughs> exactly, and your mom was giving it to you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I got real ill, and my grandfather came to save me. I said, I'll never eat a burger again, and I haven't. Been plant-based ever since. Mm-hmm. Now, besides the sea moss, what else do you take? I, I remember him having so many different things that he would suggest that we take. What else should the body be taking daily? Us men, you know, men in particular, we, you know, we do everything. We'll eat, we'll drink, we'll party, we'll do it all. But we don't take care ourselves, mm-hmm. you know. We love looking fly on the outside, but our insides are sick. Mm-hmm. So the best thing for men is sea moss, mm-hmm. male balance, mm-hmm. warrior caps. Mm-hmm. A blood purifier. Bitters. Oh, yeah, the, the bitters. bitters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are four different things you just named. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. The and, bitters is yeah. a is a is a tincture really. Mm-hmm. That it came from Honduras. It's five different herbs that strong bitter herbs that grow in Honduras, and it's Ome Grande. That Ome Grande, in and of itself, when when sick AIDS patients would come to the resort in Honduras. They would be looking listless. They would say, hey, hey, go give them a stick. Mm. I would break pieces of the Ome Grande and give it to them. Within hours, they walking around sucking on that stick, and all of a sudden, now they perking. And and, and when I get up on it, I'd be like, what was that? This is nasty, yeah. but ooh, it works. Yeah. And it was snapping them up. They sell those bitters, right? As a tanks here in my neighborhood, too. Oh, mm. are, they, are the ones they sell in America real? Well, mm. it, it's it's not yeah. the bitters that come from Honduras because the bitters that come from Honduras is derived from a group of black people that live there. They call themselves garifunas. Mm-hmm. And the bitters itself is called gifity in yeah. their language. And it's a, you go in any hut, because I've been in many of them, and you, when you walk through the door of the hut, you look to the back, right by the door is always a bottle of bitters sitting there, the kids. And everybody who gets sick, take it. Yeah. They use it as a cure-all. And for women, we, we don't really look at a lot about looking at our, our women. These are the ones who feed us. Mm-hmm. When you sit at a table, it's mostly your mother. Yeah, yeah. And so you are the sum of your experiences through your mother. Mm. And when you look at it like that, I like to talk to the woman part of this conversation because there are a lot of times when we young women feel defeated. Mm -hmm. We feel away from ourselves. We live on the outside of ourselves needing to get to the inner woman of who we are. And so with that being said, those bitters, I have a product called the inner woman, but also I have a chlorophyll that's like natural Prozac Mm -hmm. because we women go through a lot of changes. And the one change that I, uh, I'm very passionate in my heart is when women tell me how insecure they feel because that throws off everything and it defies everything about nature, but it is their food that caused them that disruption. And they don't realize if they step away from that chicken, which is a woman's true love, I know it aside from (laughs) chocolate cake, and that is the devil. (laughs) If they step away and allow that natural organic woman to come through, all that confidence to come back, but they don't realize that that defeated uh, feeling that they have comes from their food source. It's funny you say that about chocolate cake. I remember it was a point in time where they used to call chocolate cake the devil's food cake. <laughs> That's what it used to be called. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And the white one was angel food cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> y- 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 were y'all ever, ever, ever upset Ever upset that no celebrity ever stood up and said anything about it? You know, because it was rumored that he helped so many different celebrities. Magic Johnson. Well, Left Eye did. Left Eye did. Yeah, Left Eye. Shout out to Left Eye. Rest did. in peace. The yeah. only person in hip-hop to ever glorify my grandfather and it's just sad that my grandfather is the pioneer of healing and we have never been 
to any award show or never been nominated for a Nobel's Peace Prize or anything. And my grandfather has done so much for celebrities, the community, mm -hmm. just... Because he's, oh. he's never said anybody. He said he would never. He, right. you know, no, he, he, I mean... He secrecy, but... You know, there was so many celebrities that you know went to him and got. And no yeah. doctor would reveal who they. Well, yeah, are. And I mean, still today I'm we right. have celebrities yeah. in that way, but we didn't get into this work to be famous. We mm -hmm. got into this work to be helpful. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it like that, you know, hey, I don't care what status you are, we're here to help you. Mm -hmm. We're here to educate you. So after you're done with us and this experience moves on to where you are now educating, our time is done. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can talk about it, but we're good because we're still in the work. So we don't have time to slow down and think about that part of it, but we're so grateful to have each client that supports this mission that we're on. And you also got to remember, too, growing up, you know, in America, the media is controlled by white people. So to put Dr. Sabi out there would mess up their money in a, in a huge way. Well, yeah, the pharmaceutical companies make billions of dollars. And, of course, they don't want people to not buy medicine because... They want to keep keep you getting sick, so keep you getting there, trying to do preventative things instead of curing things. They want to make sure people stay sick. And sure, we know you're talking to a chemist, a nutritionist, and I'm a nurse of 23 years. Wow, we definitely know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We've so walked that walk. Yeah, I right. So practice. this, yeah, this ain't nothing new to us. We um, well, we came back to the mother, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We know what they have to teach us, but we came right back. Do you feel like there's been more of a movement? right now with people trying to be more natural, more organic, more vegans. Like I see a lot more restaurants and things that have been happening that I never used to see before. Well, you have to understand something. Our generation is tired of our grandparents dying, our fathers, our uncles, our aunties. You know, we're tired of sickness. You know, now our generation is the ones that are stepping back and saying, hold on, we're more health conscious because we had a president that was phenomenal. If it wasn't for Michelle Obama today, you wouldn't know what a GMO label is in a grocery store. That's real. So the fact that Michelle Obama made it accessible for us as people to walk into those factories that cause disease, such as McDonald's and Burger King and those establishments, and you see those labels that say may cause cancer, then you're still ignorant because it <laughs> shows you that this may cause cancer and you still don't want to change, then it's you. But as a whole, I've noticed in the last couple of years that our generation is the ones that's truly going plant-based and learning about different herbs, which is phenomenal. Y'all not scared of plant plant-based GMO? Like I like Well, oh. there are plenty of plant GMOs. Yeah. But you know, that's why they have to label yeah, it. Yeah, it has to say non-GMO. You know, and because mm -hmm. it would be unethical to sell you something that's a GMO, which is g genetically modified organism. As something organic. Yeah, yeah. So then you could sue the company for the whole company. Right. Mm -hmm. if, if that does any damage to your body, they have to allow you to have the choice. And that's the thing. They, 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 they use commercials. And what we've always had, and we make those choices thinking, all right, I go get me some Lay's potato chip. It's potatoes. No, genetically modified potatoes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they believe that these things accelerate the growth but what is really showing is that nature didn't need any help mm -hmm. so the stuff that they're genetically modifying is way more is way inferior to what was here from the very beginning that's right now for people that, that are listening now and they're saying okay well i'm in i want to change everything that i do i want to change what i put in my body what would you suggest to them i would tell them the first thing they need to do is go to the medicine cabinet and open it up and take all that mm -hmm. garbage out and mm -hmm. throw it away and then I would tell them to start getting raw vegetables, drink good water. You know, we have a tendency to buy stuff that we feel like, I want that, no matter what the cost. But when it comes to our very body, the temples that we live in, mm -hmm. all of a sudden we're ready to compromise. Yeah. That's too much. Right. I can't eat organic. Organic is too much. No, organic, your body is the only thing you have. Why wouldn't you treat it better than anything else? That's right. So I would tell them, First, they should fast. And I know that's mm -hmm. difficult for some people because our mentality. But our ancestors said this, eating is a necessary evil. If we looked at eating as a necessary evil or that's something that we only needed for fuel for our body because it's fuel, then we wouldn't be so gluttonous because yeah. it, it's times when we don't need fuel for our body and we fuel it up and then lay down and go, man, whew, that was good. Right. Now and I'm then so what we think it. happens, it stagnates us. I did a two-week fast, and um, all I could have was coconut water, 
while I was doing that fast and regular water. But anyway, it did change my whole thoughts about eating and food because I find that I eat socially a lot. You go to meet up with people like, let's go meet here and eat. Even if you're not hungry, you sit down and eat. eat. So I was forced to do things that I would go out with people they were eating, but I wouldn't eat. And it was really helpful. It made me also change my taste buds. And it certain changes things your mind. taste nasty after yeah. you haven't eaten it for two weeks. When they're so artificial, you don't even want it anymore. That's right. It changes your yeah, mind. Yeah, because, see, when you're fasting, it's very important. You know, most people don't fast in their life at when all. When you say fast, explain what Yeah, fast break down what kind of fast you do. Um, there's different type of fastings. You know, my generation, we're not going to go cold turkey on just on water. So we have to be realistic for people. Mm-hmm. I recommend a seven-day fast of fruit, salad, and water. Now, you know, there's so many different trends on water. You just want spring water, mm-hmm. water that's going to hydrate the body. You want fruits that's going to that's gonna electrify you. Water fruits. Water fruits. Mm-hmm. Blueberries, raspberries. You want antioxidants, especially now. You know, everybody's going to it's summer. It's the most important time where you should be detoxing, replenishing yourself and getting ready for fall and winter. But all we think for summer is barbecues and beer and drinking. And in the wintertime, you're sick. Then you wonder why all these sickness occur because your digestive system been overworked all summer with all this poison, all this food that's not good for our body. That's acidic. So when you take seven days to detoxify and re-nourish and re-strengthen the body, then you feel electrified. Mm -hmm. Now, what about, um, you mentioned smoking earlier. What about marijuana? Oh. <laughs> that's I mean, a herb. It's a herb. You know? That's what I'm asking, you know. But see, what happens is this. Marijuana has its place. You know, I mean, this salve that I make have 500 milligrams of CBD in it. Everybody already loved it. I call it a Sami butter. I love Everybody CBD. Everybody loved this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let her have it so you can be a testimony of what it do. Mm -hmm. But everybody loved that. Why? Because that CBD, you know, marijuana is one of a very powerful plant. First of all, we might well admit that because she got more magazines than any model I ever met in my life. (laughs) (laughs) All right. But that's how important she became in our society because of the millennials. They everybody, you know, the rappers, they everybody want to puff puff. But then we got to realize one thing. Everything is there to help us get to a certain level, not to be abused. But it has its rightful place in our life now because it's been denied us and always been shrouded with all kind of evil when that's one of the most powerful healing plants ever. Mm -hmm. I lived in Hawaii. I moved to Hawaii to juice fresh bud. When you juice fresh bud and you don't smoke it, it become a Powerful healer. What do you mean juicy? Like juicy, actually? like in the juicer with okay, like okay. watery fruit, like Damn, watermelon, uh, mango. You were, you can almost raise the dead with that. That's how powerful it is because <laughs> we have so many cannabinoids in our body. Our body naturally produces THC. When you're feeling down, and all of a sudden something happens, you go, oh. and your thought change, and you go, yeah, well, I'm, it, you know, that chemical reaction is THC in your body bringing you what. Feelings of euphoria again. And yeah. CBD, right? Oops, that's why I told yes. me CBDs in breast yes, milk. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the p- life gives us life. Question, like, but isn't a lot of the weed now GMO, though? Like, when you see that's people messing why, with the it's, THCs it's, and all that? Like, hey, you know, you one, of the things, one of the things that I promote that people do is to grow their own food. Yeah. One thing you know mm-hmm. when you grow your own food is what your food is. Mm-hmm. So just like you grow your own food, you grow your own bud. Why? It's legal. Why I keep paying for it when you can grow it yourself? Sometimes we act handicapped with the little things that our ancestors did as a hobby. Or Now, Sister Kelly, what exactly is an alkaline diet? Because to me, I, a lot of people think it's just water. What is the actual alkaline diet? When you think about an alkaline diet, what you're putting in is food that is completely whole. Mm-hmm. So you got your seeded fruits. You got your seeded Uh, elements and what you want to do is have an alkalinity opposed to an acid diet and see we've gotten it backwards most of our diet is acid we eat things that are dead such as meat we have chicken in our diet we have cheese we have there we have uh, sugar we have all these different things that causes the body to become acid so when you talk about an alkaline diet what you're putting in is fuel to the body that does nothing but benefit the body And so that's when we got to really look at our diet. Okay, so if we wanted to make a change into alkalinity, we want to add foods 
that give that alkalinity, which is your your natural grains, your first grains, your vegetables, your food, your fruits that do this kind of work in your body and take away those things that are processed so that it turns over to now you are 80 to 90 percent alkaline and maybe 20 or less in your acid. Now you're putting the body in a benefit to do what it needs to do. So when you talk about alkalinity, a lot of people go with the water. They have the water, then they go with the certain limes and, and, and fruits and things to add in there. They're alkaline. So alkaline food is out there. And the wonderful thing about you at your age, you have at your fingertips that computer that can help you with everything that you need. Mm-hmm. Back in the day when we was young in the 70s, you didn't see that. You, you didn't the have library. that. Yeah, we had to go to the li- right, right, and so uh, I'm, a, I'm a library. 70s baby. Exactly. I was here really? yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. No, so, he was born in the 70s. They were teens. They were growing up in the, <laughs> oh. in the 70s. Oh, I was born in 78. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy. But yeah, alkaline, uh, alkaline di- uh, diet starts with those fruits and vegetables that we're mentioning today. Now he also, um, he, he would give us, I thought maybe it was Seymour something else to take one a day that that was was great for the system. I don't know what what else was. Uh, that's the de- it was a cell cleanser at the time. He gave me something too that made me want to to have sex with my wife. Oh, like you talk about that's the what male I balance. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what the male balance. I would like something for that, at least. Yeah, I got it was, five kids because of that. Problem. Yeah, that that male balance is excellent because <laughs> for men, you know, between the ages of twenty five to seventy five, you know, in our society, prostate cancer is at its highest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most men are impotent. A lot of men take high blood pressure, high cholesterol pills, and that destroys the body. So what that male balance does is put the hormones back into the body, cleanse the urinary tract, help with your prostate, restrengthen the prostate. It makes you hard like Rock Oh, uh, yeah, like yeah. Rock Weiler. That you, Asami hey. bi- those Asami bitters that oh, yeah. we have, these, uh, these bitters. The male balance and the oh, bitters yeah. is so phenomenal. I got a couple of dollars. Who got some male balance? <laughs> <laughs> I got some male balance. Okay. Anybody got some little male yeah, balance? I got a couple dollars. I was going to ask him. I got, I got, I got, I got a couple yeah. dollars on me for some male balance. I'm going to some tricks tonight. That's all. The male balance is great for just the endurance and the stamina as well. Like I deal with a lot of athletes and NBA players, so... For them, can they have to, that in their system and be tested? Oh yeah, problem? because it's hundred oh, yeah. percent natural. Mm-hmm. See, with athletes, the sea moss and the male balance go hand in hand because it helps with strengthening the bones. Mm. It helps putting the zinc and the calcium back into the body, so they don't need those proteins and whey and all those chemical based products that's very harmful and detrimental to the body. That's been destroying the NBA and the NFL for years because they're become impotent and they're Bones get broken and then that's it. Can kids can, can teens take this as well? Oh yeah, teens kids, well? teens, babies, yeah, yeah. everyone. Um, one of my clients, um, Ray Schrimmer, Jimmy, um, jumped off the speaker. You know what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks so painful. I helped him in seven days with the sea moss. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can make your shakes with CMOS instead of protein, That's instead right. of that powdered yeah. protein. Yeah, I got, I got the, the, shake, I got the shakes. CMOS powder at the crib. Yeah, and I want to I, I think about the male balance, too, because it seems like it would eliminate pre-workout. Like the yeah. pre-workout oh, body. stop. Thing. Don't do more, no more pre-workout. Yeah. It's bad for the kidney and the liver. It feels like it. You just need the CMOS and the male balance, and you're good mm-hmm. to go. And those bitters, and I'm no telling eggs. you. Well, how, how can people get in touch with y'all if they want to? Oh, 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 I said, Mr., uh, Mr. G. What's the relationship with Mr. G? Mr. G, um... Mr. G is a friend of the family. He, mm-hmm. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Mr. Yeah. G is cool. I've seen some amazing footage that he had. Yeah, it? Mr. Yeah. G has, yeah. he he traveled with my grandfather from 2015 until the passing of my grandfather. Mr. G is really a good guy. He's very kind. He's yeah. reached out to all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mr. And, that, G and that's real kind because there's quite a few children, like I said, and he makes it his goal to make sure he just checks in with us, make sure we're all okay. And he told me to tell you what's up too anyway. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait. He said y'all go way back. Way and, back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. When I first came to New York or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, how can people get in touch with you if they want to get some of this stuff? Um, you can follow at Dietary Resolutions mm-hmm. and you can follow Sabi's Daughters on Instagram and you can follow at Asami. Uh, our spirit amenity. Mm-hmm. That's spirit, mind, and body because we're about healing that. So it's spirit amenity on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how often y'all in New York, but I would love to have y'all up here more often just to give our people more dietary guidelines. And, yeah. and we're and actually planning like something at the juice bar, right? I think we're yeah, trying to I work think, that yeah, out. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to work that out. Yeah, yeah. a pop-up shop at, at the juice Because we're going to try to make dope. sure we incorporate some of what you guys are doing into Juices for Life also. Yeah, yeah for that's sure. Beautiful. Thank because you. it's mm-hmm. about helping our people. And, mm-hmm. you know, I have a campaign right now, Stop Obesity Campaign. And that's what's killing our society. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 
Um, mm-hmm. I have a challenge where you can lose seven to fourteen pounds in seven days, just detoxifying the body, renourishing and restrengthening the body with natural minerals, water, and salad and fruit. But we're in. We can do it. Uh, yeah. That's the challenge. I'm all in for that. <laughs> we all should be able to I, do it. I enjoy the challenge. Us. I'm telling you, that 14 day fast, boy, that was. And it is. I did the seven. I did the 14. I did the 30. But okay. the fast, I couldn't eat anything. And let me tell you, that. people really Difficult. go through like withdrawal like symptoms you do. when they do Willpower. something like that. If your diet is that bad. Exactly, because you know yeah. the thing that I found was really gives a good fast is that what I do is five days of just fruit. The first five five days, and then twenty days of water and teas. I ain't there yet. And then five days. That's him. No, no, no. See, that's him. And then five more days of fruit. It's amazing what the body does. It regenerates every cell in your body. It sends out stem cells. People always want to put stem cells. They it it creates them and sends them out and start healing itself. How old are you, King, if you don't mind me asking? I'll be 61 in October, bro. Oh, wow. Okay. And see, I ain't got gray hair yet. You got a hairline. Yeah, I know. Right. You got a hairline. Every time his hairline grew out, when he, his hairline but grew back when did. he did my that. My hair grew back when I, when I did that. That's debatable. We don't no, know that. No, no, you think that's GMO. Head, we head, think it's GMO. Oh, see, no. My line grew back. And, no. and it's awesome mm-hmm. because our body wants to repair itself. Yeah. When we give it that opportunity, it does. He's just jealous because he's bald. He can't get no hair. And we're a reflection of what we are. And see, when your cells... If your hair start falling out, you have to tell you have to really reflect like, okay, I'm going bald. I'm young. Why am I going bald? Well, now you have to go internally because your body is compromised now. When you start going bald, losing hair, your your body is completely compromised. You you acidic. Mm-hmm. Once you start rejuvenating your cells, you did a detox for 7 days. You did a detox for 14 and 30 days. Mm-hmm. So in that time, your cells have a chance to revitalize itself. That's right. Re- rebuild itself and re-nourish itself because mm-hmm. then you just detoxified all the bad bacteria in your body. Yeah. I'll so, be honest though, is it's it's easy to do when you when you have a, a loved one doing it with you. Facts. Like I did it with my wife and it was easy because you have somebody to lean on. Because yeah. the, you know, the first five days is the most difficult. But it that's is. when your body, like, you know, my wife had headaches because she drank so much soda. So the caffeine was giving she was having yeah. headaches and mm-hmm. it was so many different things. But I can't imagine doing it by myself in a in a household like with my kids and they got gummy bears on this side and they got this on this side is difficult but you, you do it with somebody it's it helps a easy. lot especially when people do it in groups yeah. and and be a challenge and a support for one another man that's powerful that's because, why I said we could do it with our listeners that's yeah, that, right because be you, you you come together as a group and go hey let's do something that's going to enhance us as a nation for real damn that's right. right. I'm with I like you. That idea. We but appreciate then, you guys. But then at the same time, you just don't want to do a fast without minerals. You want the minerals while you're fasting. So right. you yeah. want the sea moss. You want the minerals that we're going to p- provide for you because you can Eat become very ill. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, his friend got us. Let's teach our people, man. Go to the hospital let's one let's time. get healthy. Well, she had the you know? minerals. She just, I think if you really are, your your diet's not that healthy body and you're sour. smoking, drinking, doing a lot, it is hard on your body. I just want to know how just... fast the male balance kicks in, okay? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. All right. And one last Watch question. how you feel off that CMOS in about 30 more minutes. Word. <laughs> Can you have too many fruits or vegetables? I'm just asking for people who, some people might say there's too much sugar in fruits, even though it's natural sugars. People do, are like, oh my God, that's too much sugar. Is there such a thing as too many fruits or too many vegetables no, in a no. day? No, You know why it's not? Because, you know, People have problem with sugar when their pancreatic gland is clogged up. Mm-hmm. So I don't care if it's fruit, sugar, or any sugar. Your body can't process it because why? You're not releasing insulin in order to balance your body to process that sugar. But when your body is healthy, you can eat all the fruit in, in Honduras. One guy, well, they have a tree in Honduras that's called a machudo mango. They feed that mango to pig. Mm-hmm. It's one of the sweet, they call it the candy mango. It's the sweetest mango I've ate in my life. A guy had lung cancer, went up in the mountains and just ate that mango and cured his lung cancer. There you go. What your body doesn't need, it will waste out in a day anyway. So if you know anything about structure and function, the body, does, it keeps what it needs and it gets rid of what it doesn't That's right. Need. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Man. Oh, and thank like you Charles for having said, us. We'd love to have thank you up you. here more. Um, I mean, just, just to, to preach and, and teach our community. So hey, it's a big thing. That's what we exactly. are here for. We're here to help each other. That's well, right. thank you so much. And uh, did you get your mail, your, uh, mail balance? I'm going to talk to them. Talk to them right now. <laughs> All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.